Okay, so uh, we're at the hatchery at Chehalis right now, the salmon hatchery, where we're going to be putting in, uh, these are the tanks, but we're going to be putting in the camera uh, just uh, when they get out to the gates to the uh, Chehalis Creek, I guess, or whatever it's called, um, which we're doing today. It's uh, just the beginning of October, and um, the salmon are going to start running pretty soon in the, in the next couple of weeks, and uh, next week or so we're going to put in the um, camera above ground to film the eagles, and that's going to be uh, one and a half kilometers up the river. So for now, this is phase one, and we'll be showing you what happens today. Coming up shortly will be more coho, and um, most of the big springs have already gone through. There was two springs when I was here three days ago when we were putting in the first the wiring, uh, but I don't see any springs here today. Most of them have gone through. But there will be huge numbers of pinks coming up through here. Uh, late summer run um, coho and late summer run um, sockeye. So a lot of fish, gonna, they've just started, and a lot of fish are going to come up through here. This is one of the world's greatest, and I really mean that, greatest fish river complexes. The Chehalis itself running into the Harrison, running into the Fraser. That complex is, is really quite exceptional. And the camera is going to go right down here. Um, it's going to be on a cement block. We have the ability to therefore move it as uh, water volumes and so on might change how the animals or the fish in this case, how they move past it. But at the moment, we're probably going to put it down below a rock here. Uh, at the moment, though, so about 25, 35, 50, 100 fish are just going by it, but uh, that spot. For this box here, that's got the PC in. That's the, the PC's going to live up there? Yeah. Okay. Encoder. The encoder. The encoder that's going to run a signal from the camera to the, yeah. to the universe? Yeah. Darker, so that's the underwater camera? They both are. Oh, I see. Yeah. And they're going to be... This, um, this is a Sony scuba diver's camera case. And this is one I had custom made. Okay. And they're going to go under that bridge there. I have no idea. Oh, where you don't know where they're going. Okay, that's the next step. Okay, good. <laughs> This is the fish microphone. <laughs> okay, we've been here for a few hours. Uh, the first thing we did was attach the 
waterproof box that's holding the computer that's going to, that's holding the encoder that's going to take the signal from the cameras that we're putting in here and a microphone apparently as well um, and carry it out to the internet um, all over the world. And um, so there's two cameras, one in a, a waterproof scuba diving container and another one in something that the guy made himself. He's uh, apparently ex-Navy guy or whatever. And um, doing it right now. Now this, the objective is not to pull each other into the screen. But anybody can pull the grip of these and it's dollars. <laughs> How far down do we I call want two dollars. We just want it on the other yeah. side of that rock pointing this way, okay. right? Okay, that's right there. Standing there. Over there. 